Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the new event. The Prefix Team Grueling Summer Bootcamp Training Begins. Okay, that's actually the wrong one. It's actually called Head Prefect Hina's Summer Break. Okay, I don't know why I started reading off the minigame, but let's just get into it. And so what I want to talk about today is A, like the ways in which you should go farming, because like today we've got an optimizer. We've got a calculator. Let me just show you guys real quick. It looks like this. I'm going to tell you guys what exactly you need to farm, how you should farm it, and tell you guys about the insane nerf that we got compared to the last event. And so without further ado, let's jump into the content itself, the event itself. And so as you can see, we have 10 stages under the quest menu. And so for this one, all you have to do is first of all, you need to three star the stage, right? That's that's a freaking given. However, what we also want to do is maximize the rate at which we are getting to currency. So you can see over here, the bonus plus 12, and then the bonus times nine over here. So if I come to, over to this one, you can see the original base Gehenna supply box. Uh, thank you for the subscribe, Blue Atlas. Okay, cool. Uh, Hype X Pixel, thank you for the subscribe as well. So as you can see, we have the times 12 Gehenna supply box, and then we also have times 12 for the bonus. And then for this one, we have 21 of the grilled corn, and then also bonus 21 of the grilled corn. And that is only possible if you actually like stack up all of your different units to make sure that you can actually maximize like the total gain. So for example, let me use this one because this one is imperfect. And to start things off, generally speaking, you're probably just going to three star the sage one time first. You're probably going to use your best units and just make sure that you get the three star because from after the three star onwards you can just do whatever and you will still get three stars and so yeah the first step is to three star the stage however you can also do this with the second step if your units are actually juiced enough so the second step is to maximize one of the currencies so you can see down here a hundred percent of those Gehenna supply boxes and this is achieved by just going through here Gehenna supply box we've got Harana we've got uh, Hina swimsuit that gives it we've got also Iori swimsuit that gives it and we've also got Izumi swimsuit that gives that. The other ones don't actually give any of those Gehenna supply boxes. However, we also have the special tab over here in which we've got Chinatsu, which is giving the Gehenna supply box. So what this means is that there is a total of five characters that you have to bring to be able to get that 100% bonus. One, two, three, four, and then five over here. And so that just means that your last character has to be somebody who could potentially actually carry you through the stage. And so from here, you have to actually clear the stage with this composition, because if you are able to clear it, it's going to lock in a 100% rate for these Gehenna boxes. And so if you are able to successfully clear the stage with this composition, what's gonna happen is we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna have a look at this one, which is times nine, sorry, stage nine. And what you're gonna see is this one times 12 over here. And this is persistent, no matter like what kind of bonuses you're gonna get next. Even if you run the stage again and you have like 0% of this Gehenna supply box with your student, you are still gonna get 12 plus 12 bonus. And so that same kind of logic can be used for the sunglasses over here. So if I go into the missions, I am going to strip down everybody else and only focus on the students that give sunglasses. So that is going to be, uh, we've got the summer Hina, we've got the uh, summer Izumi, and we've got the uh, Hina, the normal Hina. So I don't have the normal Izumi, so that's why I have one less. And then on the flip side, we are also going to have Fuka over here. So what this means is that the team comp is now going to look like this. I'm going to take out Haruna, I'm going to take out Iori, I am going to put in Hina. And so that is certainly going to be a level one Hina. I'm going to take out Chinatsu because she is giving the box bonus. And I'm going to put in Fuka, who's going to give the sunglasses bonus. And now I have one free slot because I don't have the base Izumi. So I'm just going to put in like a tank or a Koharu or something like that, right? So just like perhaps Tsubaki over here. And then I'll just switch her into the middle. And as you can see, my glasses bonus now is at 80%. And the Gehenna box bonus is at 40%. And so what I'm saying is that if you are able to also clear with this comp, as like your third clear or something, then you will be able to lock in an 80% bonus for your sunglasses, which for me equates to uh, plus nine, I believe, of the sunglasses. Yep, this one over here. And so to recap, you need to run at least once to get the 100% bonus or whatever the highest bonus you can get for the Gehenna supply box. And then you need to run another time to get the highest bonus that you can for the secondary material. In this case, it's the Thug Summer Shades. And so if you can achieve that in two runs, that's actually perfect. Like you can do the three star as well as maximizing this bonus. And then you can do just like a, a not so good team to maximize the bonus for this one. All right, and so what's gonna happen is that if you do this for eight, nine, and 10, or rather seven, eight, nine, and 10, then what you should have is like for 10, you should have uh, at max a double bonus and then for this one 12 12 21 9 what is that guys i think i made a mistake so this is times 9 this is times 21 
80% of 21 is not nine. Uh, I clearly have not done this one yet. However, coming over to this one over here, 21 and 21, there are five units total, which give the corn bonus. So I think I've done this one correctly. So yeah, just coming back to it, you should have for eight, nine and 10, at least like all of the perfect scores. So I just got to fix this one up. All right, so that is kind of like the pre-work that we need to do before we start using the calculator itself to be able to be like, okay, well, what is the most optimal usage of our stamina? And before we get into the calculator itself, let me go through the price exchange as well as the shop. So as you can see, this is a very, very familiar face. I think uh, we've got the Izumi shards over here and then we've got the splashy helmets. These guys are used for your shop C. So splashy helmet you see down there. I'm gonna come over into the, uh, into the shop and we're gonna go shop C and you can see this is the splashy helmet. So coming back over to the exchange, the prize exchange, I want to talk about priorities for this one. And so obviously the top priority is going to be the Izumi swimsuits elephs. And then you got your splashy helmets, especially because like there's the gems attached to it. There's the Chinatsu shards, as well as that, the tech note, like the, the level 10 tech note. And then on top of that, we also have like these lens pieces. Although I do believe these were actually farmable in the event before. So you guys may or may not be down bad for these ones. If you guys are still down bad, then like, probably clear them out. But to be honest, like for me personally, like all of these enhancement stones are actually skippable because I just have so many. And then depending on how well you're doing on your credits, you could also skip these as well. And then equipment chairs, of course, you could also skip that too. So to summarize, top priority is me swimsuit elf, splashy helmet. And then after that, you've probably got your materials. So these ones over here. And then for me personally, I would prioritize these credit points just simply because I am freaking down bad now. After that, or even like at that point, even before the credits, I would consider refreshing but there really is no harm in like clearing the earlier boxes however what i do need to mention is that for these ones over here these mats actually change when you get to like the next box so i believe like round one round three round five round seven they're all going to contain like the same material i think it's the voynich's and the voynich's are essentially your books so like these ones over here i i think they're used for iori i can't 100 remember but essentially it's for these guys over here so my recommendation for those ones would be 100 to clear them out. However, if you kind of don't really want to think about it, there isn't really overly any demerits in just like clearing the boxes and then going to the next one. You probably aren't going to lose out too much. All right. And so that is the priorities for the boxes. Let's come back over to the shop. And I think we can use a similar kind of logic, right? So we've got a whole bunch of really, really important items, right? So we've got the corn cob things, and then we've got a whole bunch of materials. I think everything is freaking good, but essentially I would prioritize these skill books, these Blu-ray discs first, and and then these Voyniches, and then certainly these superior activity reports, and then going leftwards, right? So these ones first, and then these ones, and then these ones, and then these ones. If it were up to me, I would recommend highly that you clear this entire shop. All of these are very, very important materials. And so moving on to the sunglasses, I would say these are the most important ones, these tech notes, and then the Nimrod lenses, although I'm sure we probably are overloaded with them. And then if you want to, you could actually clear out these enhancement stones. Like I said, I'm actually flooded with them. I probably have enough for like another 10 accounts. And so I might actually consider not farming these ones over here. And what is interesting is that in the calculator, we can actually do some exclusions, like exclude all of these guys over here. And so finally, we have the wet helmet thing. So obviously top priority is going to be your secret tech sheet and then your pyrocines, eligma, and then your chinatsu's elephs, if you want them. I know a lot of people who like, don't really value the Chinatsu LFs and that's like completely on you. Personally, number four, and then obviously from here, five, six, seven, blah, blah, blah. All right, and so that is the event in a nutshell. Now let's start talking a little bit more about priorities. So if you guys do remember this chart from the last event, I remember, I'm gonna scroll far left and you guys can probably remember that we were able to farm these four materials up here, the Nebra Sky Disc, all the way down to the Nebra LEDs. All right, so. What we have in this event is these guys over here. What we can farm for this time are the Phaistos discs. We can farm the Wolf Seg. We can farm the Nimrod lens and these, uh, what are they called? The Void niches. So essentially it's going to be uh, this one down here this one, this one, as well as this one. Now, before you go ahead and go farm things, I need to put out a massive disclaimer. And it's that there is a massive, massive nerf compared to last time. So for context, let's go back to the last event and you can see the drop rate on the T4 material is 18%. And then it's going to be 42% on the T3 material. Alternatively, you could have gone the other route in the last event. So 10% for the T4, T3, 30%, T2, 40%. Now, I want you guys to compare this 
to this one over here, this table. And what you are gonna see is that the T4 is at 1% drop rate, T3 is at 4% and the T2 is at 20% for these three stages, these four stages over here. And then if we kind of look at the ones above over here, these are T3 materials. T3 materials dropping at 2% rate and then T2 materials dropping at 15 and T1 materials at 30%. That is, um, that is a significant nerf. So let's even look at just, even just looking at the T4 materials, 1% over here, at best, we could actually get 18% in the previous summer quest. And so to be honest, you could actually farm them. You could have a look at this table and see which ones you need and just farm that stage. However, in my own opinion, I feel like it's not overly worth farming. Aside from like the Voyniches, because the Voyniches, I think this might be one of the first times that we've been able to actually go ahead and farm them. However, the other approach and probably the approach that I'm going to be taking is that we're just going to clear it, uh, clear it for the shops. And that's kind of it. Ignore everything over here and just like take whatever we can as a bonus. All right. And so finally, 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 we are going to go ahead and talk about the calculator over here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download a new copy so that you guys can see all of the different things that happen. And so as always, all of these resources, including the calculator, are going to be in the description below. Before we get into the calculator itself, massive shout out to life hashtag 8380 on discord for putting this one together. So first of all, this is going to be a direct download link. I need to warn you, it is going to have macros in it. And a lot of the time macros can be unsafe. And that is why you just need to be cautious. And that is why we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of different warnings here. So if you guys are willing to use this one, use this macro. First of all, we're going to open up the file after downloading it. Second of all, we're going to enable editing. And then we are going to see this one macros have been disabled. What we need to do, we 100% need to do is click this button, enable content so that everything can actually work. All right. So after this, what we have is a whole bunch of like tooltip description from life himself showing us how to use it. But I'm just going to like quickly run through this one. And so here we have like the main page, the main page where we are going to be doing our calculations. The main part where you are going to be selecting or like making changes to is these three blue boxes here. So essentially, if I come back to this one over here and come back to the stages, remember how I told you that we had to run like run this each stage twice at least to be able to maximize the bonuses for the Gehenna supply box as well as the secondary one which is in this case the Thug Summer Shades. So this worksheet is completely dependent on how you did over here. So for example I did the uh, this one over here the Gehenna supply box however I messed up the glasses one over here so if I look at that that's approximately going to be like um, let's say like three units so that means that I only was smart enough to bring like three units right so I have three units worth of bonuses here. Actually I don't think it's even that much. I'm just going to change that to two units. And so what's going to happen now is I'm going to click run the solver and then I'm going to just click OK here and you're going to see all of these numbers change. And these numbers are going to change according to the amount of runs that are required for maps 7, 8, 9 and 10 for you to be able to like kind of maximize the amount of stamina that you are going to sink into each stage. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it's gone to 6, 10, 34 and 100. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this one over here and then I'm going to just shift this to the side. And then I'm going to show you the difference when I actually get the sunglasses one up back to four of them. And so that means that I'm expecting to hopefully bring this bonus up from times nine to about like times 18, if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and run the solver, click OK, and then compare this against the sheet before. As you can see, the one over here has a lot less runs in total. So we've got 655, 21, 34. We've got 610, 34, 100. And we can see that the average AP spent per day over 13 or 14 days is going to be 760 or 819. This one is 797 or 858. There is certainly going to be quite a discernible difference. So for example, if somebody had like perfect units, 555, we can run the solver, okay. And this is probably what they're going to be running to be able to like optimize their AP. So that means by the end of the event, you're going to have to have run stage seven, 671 times, eight, 17, blah, 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 blah. Now here is the part where it gets a little bit cool. I'm going to come over to the shops tab over here, right? And so you guys remember how I said these great equip EXPs, the equip EXPs, I was like, I don't even want them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change them all to zero. And so that means that their total costs are all going to go down to zero. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go into the shop. And I'm going to punch in the amount remainings for each one. So for example, over here, I've cleared out all of these uh, Gehenna skill books. So these ones are the Blu-ray discs. Uh, these one BD for Blu-ray disc. I'm going to hit zero, 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 zero. And then on top of that, I've noticed I've cleared out six of these ones. So I'm going to pull this down 
to four. Quantity left is four. I'm gonna check the rest. I still have 10 for this one, 20, 35, and 70. 10, 20, 35, 70. I'm also gonna come over here and uh, I'm just gonna buy out this one just cause. And then I can do the rest for this one, right? So for example, I don't want these ones. So I'm gonna put it at zero. I've cleared out these three. So I'm gonna put these at zero, 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 zero. And then I still have for this one purple, I still have seven left. And then scrolling down, I'm gonna come to this last one. I've only cleared out the nine to 10 skill book. So that is gonna be a zero over there. Now the solver can actually solve for my personal situation. What you guys might've noticed is I haven't actually spent this one. So what I should probably do is just buy this out first. Also like do something like this, like buy all these ones out, get it as close to zero as possible to have the most accurate calculation that I can. But yeah, you guys kind of get the point, right? Like, so just try to get this one to match the shops as close as you can. And then I'm going to put this back to four because that is my own scenario. I'm missing Izumi who cannot give me the fifth sunglasses bonus. And then after all of that, I am going to run the solver, hit okay, and we are gonna see all of these numbers dramatically decrease. And so here is my path. Here's the path that I should take to finish the event. I should run map seven, 480 times, map eight, 20 times, and map 10, 77 times. And that my guys, in a nutshell, is how you use this solver. It's actually gonna be really good because it means that you can actually plan out your stamina a little bit better. If like, for example, for me personally, if I am getting more than 665 stamina per day, I could actually dump a lot of it into the hard modes, farm those Iori shards, farm those Harana shards. And so yeah, that pretty much wraps up this worksheet. Again, massive shout out to life, hashtag 8380 for putting this one together. All right, I am actually, I'm actually starting to lose my voice. So it's at this point where I am going to wrap up the video, but not without giving you guys a secret question. And that is, how are you guys going on this freaking mini game? This mini game is so freaking hard to be honest. Let me know how you guys are finding this one over here. I haven't even tried hard or very hard because I'm still like molding over normal. And I just freaking realized that there are curses over here for a, is that a special one? What the frick, oh my God. Anyway, my guys, let me know how you feel about this down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much. If you did find this video kind of helpful or just kind of enjoyed it, then please consider a like. And if you would like to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, my dudes, as Summer Iori once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.